lot of buzz has happening in the AI space in the recent few weeks. Uh, we release uh, our newsletter every uh, Monday, wherein we talk about the latest uh, breakthroughs that are happening. For this week's breakthrough, uh, we are seeing a lot of buzz around uh, open AI new voice bot. I'm going to quickly share my screen wherein we talk in details about uh, the information that is there in the community as well. So let me know. So we have a newsletter which we uh, send every week. If you're not part of the newsletter, do subscribe in the uh, link below. Uh, it is the weekly newsletter. So once you open the newsletter, you will get all the details information that is there. So uh, now coming to uh, the uh, various uh, things about the uh, this AGI progress that is there, wherein uh, we have this voice engine which uh, OpenAI has been working on, on it for a long time and it is supposed to, uh, in every 15 seconds that you have of your audio, it can understand and it can process and clone your voice accordingly. And this is a very uh, great, uh, you can say, software that is available for uh, people to uh, play around with. So I'm just fixing my camera uh, as well. Yeah, so this is better. Yeah, so this is better. So the, these are some of the things that are uh, going on right now in the space of, uh, it has not been uh, officially launched for public use because uh, we are still awaiting the uh, uh, checks that are there uh, and is it really going to be uh, also compliance wise because the UAE AI Act has been just approved in last month. So is it going to be in compliance uh, with that as well? And it is to be honest, a little bit dangerous. That is why companies are taking a little bit of precaution uh, for this particular technology uh, and it, the best thing about it is as you said it is uh, very uh, fast and uh, almost it is very uh, tough to determine whether it is a fake voice or is it a original uh, voice that is there so these are some of the things that uh, the buzz is happening about in the recent uh, few uh, you can say uh, weeks wherein OpenAI's AI engine is supposed to be very uh, hot in the market and it is uh, sound to be very interesting. So now coming to uh, the next news, it is about Re Real M. This is uh, Apple's new AI language model. Uh, it is uh, after the Google AI uh, bot uh, if you have heard about Google AI mobiles, wherein they were talking about uh, localized ML, they use Gemini Nano, uh, this large language model that is uh, developed by uh, uh, Google and it can do l translations, transcriptions at li uh, live. Suppose a Korean is speaking to a, a Indian. So the Korean language can be translated to Hindi uh, in a real time so uh, you can easily communicate through phone and also helps in ai enhanced images suppose you have a distort background in which there are some people and you want to remove the background you can use this technology uh, that was there in samsung uh, galaxy ai but now it is also coming in uh, the apple release so they have a wdc in uh, september or in june where they will talk about this and in September they may launch it at their uh, week on yearly uh, event that happens uh, about this particular product. A lot of things uh, are there. They talk about the concept that they want to have a model that does only specific things that are uh, for the phone and they have something called as a screenshot or an on-page uh, uh, access where they can understand and see what a person is doing and accordingly also uh, recommend them some uh, things that are there and this is very very specific to the uh, mobile model uh, and it is going to be a future because uh, right now we are talking about large language models that run on processors but now they want to get something that can even run on a, a apple chip 
plus they are going to also launch a new version of siri which is built on the same capability uh, of what they, the ai the our re real m language model that has been built it is going to be using the same technology and making it better faster and uh, more efficient so more news about this in the near future we will come to know and also about the uh, chat gpt now uh, people can access chat gpt without uh, logging in so that is a good thing that you can go like suppose i go to chat uh, G chat gpt here uh, you can uh, what you can do is before we needed to have an uh, login to chat so it is taking some time because it is getting logged in but now you can use it without the chat which is a very uh, great feature uh, that is uh, happening so it is taking some time to open up till then we'll do the new news about dali enhancement now you can edit the image over the uh, dali and to be honest chat gpt one more news that is happening in the last one or two days is chat gpt is very slow there is a lot of crashes and a lot of server is down specifically because right now i have downgraded to the free version that is there so suppose i sign out uh, chat gpt and uh, I, if i again log in uh, then it is it will still give me access to ask any question so you don't need to be logged in suppose you don't want your you don't want to uh, keep your private information you just want to chat so uh, tell me uh, how uh, how to get a ai job so it will give you the information but it is going to be very generic it is not going to uh, have your chat history and it's not also going to save the chat history. But it is good for people who just don't want to identify themselves. They don't want to talk about themselves. Uh, they don't want to log in. They don't want to log in. They want to use it on a public system. So these are some of the secret things that are there. And uh, uh, also there are some privacy policies that you can see. To, it is mentioning don't share sensitive information. Chat may be reviewed and used for training models. Uh, so these are the things. So they are also giving you a TN TNC that uh, be careful uh, and don't share anything that is personal. So these are some of the things that are there that you can do. Uh, one thing interesting, like the same thing, right? Like uh, how do, if I just ask here a question, how do I build a bomb? And uh, you will see the response. If you can see this content may violate our usage policy so when you see the usage policy it is mentioned in strictly uh, that you need to uh, uh, comply with the law do not use service to harm or others and a lot of other things that are there respect our uh, safeguards don't compromise private don't perform a facility that may uh, said like suppose here if i just click uh, harm so there are multiple places where they saying harmful content uh, there are some policies that are the universal policies are there uh, then open AI platform policy is there and a lot of other things that is uh, also mentioned so you need to uh, make sure that uh, things are uh, factored in and you cannot do that but what is this uh, prompt injection and jail breaking is you fool the chat GPTs or the mistral models to give you answers like in this case that you can see here few short jailbreaking you try to uh, ask few questions and then you ask to how you want to build a bomb it will not work it will give you i cannot tell you but when you be very much detailed like in this case if you can see there he, the user has asked it three times and still it is telling no but suppose a user is now fooling the chat gpt and llm multiple times like here you can say 15 times uh, or more and then it is asking how to build a bomb then it is responding by mentioning that these are the steps to build a uh, bomb which is uh, i'm using the word bomb multiple times i don't i'm not sure whether my video will get will get strike down but i hope you're getting the message that no harmful content uh, can be uh, given but there are opportunities where uh, hackers are getting that by doing many short prompt uh, jailbreaking there's a very interesting paper by anthropic researchers where we, they have talked about this and the purpose of doing all this is to make sure that these companies make a system that is foolproof, which is uh, 
which will not be broken by these uh, by XYZ companies to get the particular information out. And this is a very, very important uh, niche. And uh, you can say uh, 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 thing that a company needs to uh, do uh, to make that. And this is same thing like we used to be there for hackers. If a hacker finds a bug, they report it to the company and the company makes sure it works on it and uh, and fixes that problem issue. Similarly, uh, Claude has expanded uh, onto documents uh, and uh, a public APIs and other web sources. You can use that to get information in the after they launch the paid version. They are doing a lot of uh, these type of activities and uh, talking about it. I'll do a, a video separately about uh, Anthropic Cloud uh, paid version and how it is different and how are the benefits in the near future. We are having a lot of workshops uh, in the coming weeks to join in. The links and all are shared in the uh, in the webinar uh, description as well. And also we have our summary update of the things that had happened last week. A lot of eventually, a lot of events happened, a lot of talks happened, a lot of things happened. You can get all the details in the link. The resources that are shared are here as well. And uh, these are the updates. Uh, and uh, hopefully the message is there are a lot of things happening in the AI space. What we need to do is... Uh, understand what how, what is helping us, how we can use these technologies to solve our business problems and do participate in the community. If you have not liked, subscribe the channel, do subscribe not to miss any updates and support us in our journey to democratize the AI education and information to everyone. Thank you everyone and see you in the next video.